In today's lesson, we will review syllables because words are easier to spell when each word part is spelled separately. What is a syllable? A syllable is the sound part of a word. The word behind has two sound parts. We can determine this by saying the word aloud and clapping its parts. Let's do it together. Behind. The goat was among the ducks. Let's clap out the syllables for among. Among. Here we are. Among has two syllables or sound parts to it. Turn to page five in your spelling and word skills practice book. Check out what the lion is saying up top. Words have syllables, of course you agree. In my name there are two. In elephant there are three. Then there's rhinoceros, a four syllable word. In hippopotamus, how many syllables are heard? Let's clap it out. Ready? Hippopotamus. I got five. So write five in the blank. Some words begin with the B syllable. Among all the words in a dictionary, some start with the A syllable, which we're going to say uh when we find those words. Find and write words that begin with the syllable B or A. A, which makes the uh sound, and write them on the lines for each sign. We're going to do them together. Here we go. What words start with the B syllable? What about between? What other words can you think to add to the sign? I'm going to share a few ideas with you, words that start with the B sound. B4, begin, where's the dog? beneath the table. A scuba diver goes below the surface of the water. This girl has bad behavior. What about the word bewildered? Did you see that at the bottom? That might be a new vocabulary word for you. Bewildered means confused. This guy is confused. We could say he's bewildered. Bewildered is also an interesting one because how many syllables does it have? Clap it out with me. Bewildered. Three syllables. You are becoming more successful every day. Did you see I sneaked in the word become? And here's another one. Did you think of because? If you haven't filled out the like circular thing inside of your sign, go ahead and pause the video and do so now. And you can use some of the words that we talked about if you can't think of new ones on your own. Let's let's talk about this word because though, because because is another word that starts with the B syllable and it's a word I want you to feel confident spelling. I've got a fun mnemonic sentence to rem for you to remember the letters in the word because so you can start spelling it correctly. Big elephants can always use scrambled eggs. Notice that the first letter of each word in the sentence are the letters that make up the word because. B for big, E for elephants, C for can, A for always, U for use, S for scrambled, and E for eggs. Now you'll remember how to spell the word because. What words start with the A syllable? Notice this is a, this is A, but it doesn't make a, the A sound. So in the word among that we look at, looked at earlier, and in this word above, both of them make the uh sound. So I want you to think of other words that start with A and makes the uh sound to begin, okay? Here's a few I thought of. Feel free to go ahead and fill out your wheel on the sign as I talk through these words. Afraid, about, across, agree, alone alive, and asleep. That's all you need to do for the worksheet this time. But when you get to school, I want you to add your name to our door. This chart is hanging in our classroom. Our class names by syllables. Clap out the syllables in your name to determine which column you should write it in. For example, if my name was Julie, I clap it out and know that it has two syllables. Julie. So I would write my name in the two syllables column. Okay, I can't wait to see you when you get back to school. Bye.